and today we are back with another freaking video. <laughs> To say to baby boy. I don't know because I don't even know what you look like. I'm excited to just see what you look like and to see what your name's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Currently 9:53. We got here at 9 o'clock. We've just been in triage, you know, getting everything ready. I'm waiting for the doctors to come in. They already told me that I can't record, um, so I'm gonna get as much as I can for you guys. But um, I may get kicked out of the hospital, but I don't care because this is probably the last baby we're gonna have. Okay, you guys, doctors are coming in and out, so I'll see you guys once we get to our actual delivery room. Mommy, can't wait to meet you and see what you look like. Hopefully you don't look like your dad, but it's not right if you do. Come out soon, please. See you right there, boy. Mama, baby. Is baby coming out your tummy? Not yet. He's still in there. Hi, Dada. Hi, baby. Hi guys, a so quick little update, um, it's now 8.04, Kenzie just had her water broke. Last time we had our water broke with our first delivery, literally within the next hour we were having the baby. So I'm excited for you guys, look at this, I can't show you too much obviously, but this big old ball that Kenzie has to have. They say it helps with the labor and everything and helps speed the process up, <sighs> but you guys it's been a long day of just waiting. Like literally just the longest waiting process. But we just got some of our family pictures, like a sneak peek, and you guys, they are stunning. If you guys wanna see, go head over to my Instagram, OVOJ Chin. Um, and if you guys aren't a part of my Snap family, you can go ahead and join me there at J Chin, C-H-I-N-N. -N. My Snapchat is public. I try to reply to everybody that, you know, swiped up on my story or says anything to me. Yeah, you guys, I literally post more there than I post on any other social media. I barely post on there. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, that's really the, all the update that I have for right now. This pregnancy, well, this delivery is a lot different. You know what's for right? For sure. We had to be at the hospital at 7 a.m. We were up at 3.30 a.m. <laughs> like, we stopped at Walmart, got a ton of snacks. We'll see you guys later. Bye! I want to give you guys a tour of, like, our labor and delivery room. This isn't the room where we're going to be staying. This is just where we're going to deliver the baby. Okay, you guys, but yeah, Kenzie's right here. I'm going to give you guys a quick tour because they said I can't really record while there's anyone else in the room, but... Children go shy, collect the health. If y'all see this, get it together. It's 2021. Everybody records. But yeah, let me give you guys a tour. The bathroom. That's a bathroom right there. Nice little sink area. And to see Kenzie. This is um, the machine here. This is the fetal heart rate, maternal heart rate, which is Kenzie. This is her oxygen saturation. This right here is uh, shows contractions. Um, this is Kenzie's blood pressure. Oh, this is our room, excuse me. I put somebody else's information, that's not our room. Yeah, you guys, and there's this, whatever that is. Garbage can, my sitting area, baby warmer. Boom, boom, boom. You drink right there for us. And then in here, just a closet. Got some Chick Fil A from this morning. Got our drinks right there. Clothes, clothes, clothes. My clothes, Kenzie's clothes, my shoes, baby bag, my jacket. Thank you guys. So yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit. How are you doing, mom? In pain? Yeah. As you guys can see, we just been chilling, watching BET. Thank you guys. Update. 10.42 p.m. Still no baby. This couch. And then my dad. And you can see Kenzie's sweatshirt. I had to steal this from Kenzie because they didn't give me any sheets or blankets. And I'm actually using Kenzie's blanket that she brought because I forgot all my blankets at home for a long day. They got them back on the Potosa now to try to speed up the contractions and get her uterus to contract to see how the baby tolerates it. But a long day you guys, I'm really tired, but I just want to give you guys an update. Let's 
something major happens the next time I see you guys is when we're actually having it. Anyways, I'm late. Really about to be midnight. You can see my eyes are red. You can see the clock in the background. Talking with our actual delivery doctor, the OBGYN that Kenzie's been seeing. But they're basically just trying to do everything they can to get him out naturally. So that way we don't have to do a C-section. But basically what they told us is that there's a possibility that we will have to do a C-section if he doesn't come naturally in the next few hours. Because we've been at six centimeters for like seven, eight hours. It's very different from with Ren. With Ren, 14 hours from the time we got to the hospital to the time we had her. Here, we got here at 9 a.m. It's not 12, so 15 hours in, honestly. Good boy. One twenty-four in the morning. We're gonna start us on the Pitocin again, but every time that they start us on the Pitocin, the baby doesn't like it, his heart rate dips down. They were gonna do it again, but they got a call and they're just gonna kind of monitor us for like the next hour, see how it goes. Um, but we're getting closer and closer to the time where we're gonna have to do a C-section. This little guy is being stubborn as hell. How are you feeling, mama? He's ready for me But that's the only update I got for you guys. It's now 4.16 a.m. I'm just a little scared. We're officially at the point where we're doing the cesarean. They already told me that I can't record in the room, so as soon as he gets in the room, um, I'll record for you guys, get some footage, and flush us out there. What are you gonna say to baby boy? It's the last one we get to say to him. Please just come out. <laughs> I'll meet you guys. I'll see you guys after. All right, you guys. It's time. Let me bring my camera and then my bunny suit. It's just put Kenzie back there. I'm waiting on him to give me the go ahead. Let Kenzie bring him up in here for a minute. And I'll pray for us. Hopefully, we have a beautiful, healthy baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> What name are you thinking? Hmm? You to what? You want me to say it? The count of three. One, two, three. Akira. <laughs> the cutest. Alright, you guys. After you can eat for almost 24 hours. sandwich for her yesterday what time was it like almost five o'clock p.m still I, I tried not to eat my sandwich with her i only ate half of it and probably too much hey you guys i just wanted to show you guys that i'm gonna continue to feed her because she's feeding the baby yeah you guys thank you guys for joining us on this birthing experience we ended up finding out why we had to do a c-section basically they think that the umbilical cord got wrapped around his left leg while he was moving trying to come down which would explain why his heart rate kept decreasing and why he couldn't go any further down the birth canal because the umbilical cord got stuck so you guys i'm gonna close out this video here make sure you guys tell a friend to tell a friend because my next subscriber could be on your social media until next time you guys peace